everybody, welcome back to my channel. It has been a zillion years since I have talked to you. It feels so good to be back here in front of the camera talking to you guys. Honestly, it's just been such a crazy month. I don't have any excuses. I am a shitty person, but I want to make up for it. And guess what? It is fall. Fall means darker colors and dark fashion. The leggings come out, the dark hair, the dark lipstick, the smokiness the fuck summer, I am ready for you winter, hashtag no, I'm never ready for winter. If you live in the GTA, you know our winters. So before we get there, we have fall, which is this beautiful transition from summer where the leaves change color and they start to fall and it's just, oh my God, it is so beautiful and it's, that type of weather where you know you can wear a t-shirt in the daytime <laughs> at nighttime. If you don't bring a sweater, you will turn blue. I love it! It's the perfect time to get sick. It's so beautiful that you don't even mind. <coughs> Which is why I have a cold. But anyway, so I came up with this very simple brown smoky eye dark lip look just to welcome fall and all its glory. I'm going to be doing a lot more looks like this in the following weeks to come. Autumn is such a short time, so we have to just embrace it. You know, just embrace all the fall fashions and the colors and the leaves. I keep talking about the leaves. I love the leaves, okay? I'm that girl. I don't care how old I am. I can be 47, okay? I will do this. I will grab all the leaves in my front yard or in the backyard or any leaves that I see and I'll pile them all up and then I will jump into them. And I'll probably be covered in bugs and stuff, but you know what? That's okay, okay? Because you can be a kid whenever you want. You just have to be responsible all those other times, but you just gotta be in touch with your inner child. And I think that's very, very important. And autumn is one of those best times to do it because, I mean, who doesn't want to jump into a big pile of leaves? Right? No? Am I alone on this one? Fine. But anyways, guys, I can ramble on for a million years. If you want to see how I got this look, just keep on watching. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm gonna go in with is my Tinted Moisturizer by Laura Mercier to bring just one balance to the face, one shade to rule them all. It kind of just makes everything one even tone, which is awesome. Oh, I got it in my eyebrow. That's okay. And as usual, I don't have my hair because I'd rather suffer. For foundation, I'm gonna mix these two, my MAC Pro Longwear and my Sephora Tint Infusion. This works really well because it's waterproof and it lasts all day. And this is hydrating because my skin's a little bit more on the dry side, so this adds a really nice hydrating factor. And these two together is just bomb.com. Take any brush and just swirl it around together. And with your beauty, beauty blender, <laughs> and with your beauty blender, just blend it all together. Now for concealer today, I got the new, well it's not new anymore, but it was new, Born This Way by Too Faced Concealer, and I was kind of on the fence because I was using Naked Skin by Urban Decay, which was one of my favorite concealers I've ever tried, and oh my god, this concealer is, I mean, I love my Urban Decay, but this one is just so creamy, and it glides on, and it just, it really just meshes with the skin so well. It's so good and I have yet to find a concealer like this. This is on the top of my list right now. I would definitely, definitely, definitely buy this again and I probably will because I'm using the shit out of this one. Oh my god. I saw so many reviews on this concealer and I was like, okay, fine guys, like, I get it. I gotta go buy it. And then I bought it and I was like, what the? Hey, this is still second best, but this one is bomb. You all know I like to draw funny things on my face. I mean, makeup should be fun, right? I gotta be so serious all the time. I'm going to take this beauty blender that looks a bit like a butt plug and I'm just going to blend it all together. I'm going to take my MAC Prep and Prime translucent powder and set my under eye. I'm just going to use the same butt plug that I was using before. For eyebrows, you guys already know my trusted paint pot in shade Granite with my MAC 208 brush. It is my absolute go-to. I cannot think of any better way to do my brows. If you guys have any suggestions, send them my way because I'm all about the brows and I love finding new things to do with the brows. But for now, this is my Timon and Pumbaa of my life. Now with a flat brush and the shade Banana in my Contour Cream Kit, I'm going to just clean up under my brows. With my MAC Prep and Prime 24 Hour Extend Eye Base, I'm going to prep my eyes before I put on all the good stuff. So, for fall, I wanted to do more of a smoky, brown, gold, earthy colors, maybe like a dark green or something in there. So I'm going into my Morphe 35K palette, which is 
my neutrals and my warm shades and everything like that and I am going to start with the transition color first I'm going to start with this light one right here just to blend it all over up until my brow bone and then I'm going to go darker and darker and darker till it matches my soul okay now that I got my base down I'm going to go with this dark green brown khaki color right here and I'm just going to apply that on the eyelid only. Now I'm going in with this guy right here which is the khaki green that I just used. It's a little bit of his darker sister. Now that I've got my base down, I'm going to zoom in so you can see exactly what I'm going to do with all of the metallics. So I want to take this metallic brown right here. I'm gonna apply that directly on the eyelid and then in the center of my eye, I'm gonna apply this color right here. And now with that lighter color, just in the center here. For under my eye, I'm going to use that same metallic brown right on the outside and on the inner part, I'm gonna use that light gold metallic that I put on my eyelid. Next I'm going to put on my lashes and today I'm going to be using these from Sephora which are thick and beautiful. They're not very long which I'm okay with. I just like the volume personally. Um, but before that I'm going to coat my lashes with of course my Dior mascara. I think it's Dior Show Iconic. Yes it is. And it's waterproof so if y'all want to watch a sad movie, I got you. I'm going to put on my fake lashes off camera and I'll be right back because I still haven't mastered it. Bear with me guys. Couple more videos and I promise I'll do a tutorial on how to put fake lashes on your lashes. Okay, so my lashes are on. That only took me about 20 minutes off camera. <laughs> Just kidding, only like 25. I'm going to line my lash line up here with Kat Von D's tattoo liner in shade Trooper, I believe it's called. Now for my lower lashes, I want them to look plump and juicy, like you know when you're picking out fruits at the grocery store and you pick out the fattest, juiciest, ripest one, I want my eyelashes to look like the best fruit at the grocery store. So what I like to use is the Maximizer by Dior, it's Lash Plumping Serum. I can't even tell you guys, this works so well. Before I started wearing fake eyelashes most of the time, I would use this on my lashes and then use an eyelash curler just to get them to the height that I want and then I would go over it with a black mascara. And what this would do is it would make your eyelashes thicker and it would make it look like you're wearing falsies without actually wearing falsies. And these two together are like ketchup and mustard. You know, it's just bomb.com. <laughs> For the record, I don't eat mustard, but I heard they go good together. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my lash plumping serum on my lower lashes and then I'm gonna go over it with my Dior Show Iconic Mascara. Next I'm going to take my Urban Decay 24 hour waterline pencil and I'm just going to line the inside of my eyeball. Very sexy! Now going in with the same contour kit that I was using before by Anastasia Beverly Hills, I'm going to be going with the color Light Sculpt which is just this light brown color right there and my butt plug. I have to stop calling it that but I mean what else does this look like? Anyway, and I'm just going to carve out some cheekbones, line my jawline, and just slim my nose just a smidge. And to highlight, I'm using my glow kit as usual. This is my absolute go-to. I started mixing colors and I have not looked back since, so I'm going to be mixing mimosa on the outer part of my cheeks all here and then to highlight, to truly highlight the hell out of my face, I'm going to go in with Crush Pearl. Straight down the nose, Cupid's bow, a little bit on the chin, I like to show the chin, show the chin some love. Now for lips today, I'm going to be using Vamp by Anastasia Beverly Hills, which is more of a dark, 
mocha color. It's perfect for fall and I've been really really excited to use this color. I got it like before the summer started and I couldn't wear it during the summer because it was not a summer color. Now I can wear it! As you guys know, I already used my lip exfoliator. I put some lip balm on so my lips are prepped and ready. All that's left is to set the face with my trusted Urban Decay 24 hour setting spray. Okay guys, so that concludes the tutorial for my fall is finally here look. I am so excited to see what fall has to offer. I am so about the dark tones, the browns, the, the khaki greens, the, the deep reds, anything that's dark. Like my soul, I love it. If you lived in the GTA Canada region, you know that this summer was intense. This summer was just so, it was like in the 40 degree radius and it was just like whoa, what happened? Like, Canada? Is this Canada? It felt like, what is it? Like the swamps of Louisiana or something? That was some Amazon shit going on. While I enjoyed it a lot because, you know, you don't have to go away to a hot tropical island, we needed a cool off and I love, I love fall. I love the fall fashion. It is probably my favorite season ever of the four. But anyways guys, you will see me a lot more. I am done with my hibernation. It was just too crazy this past month. I will definitely cook something up for you for next week. If you liked my video, if you liked how I did my look today, just don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I will link my Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter down below if you guys want to follow me and see what I do when I'm not up here being ridiculous and doing some crazy shit. <laughs> but until then, I will see you guys on the next one.